Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's Star Wars Ahsoka episode 8. I've had to wait a couple days longer than I wanted to to finally watch this show. Uh, so I've had to close my eyes off to the things that might spoil me on it, right? And I've been successful at doing that. So thankfully coming into this uh, spoiler free, believe it or not, considering it's been a couple days since it released. But I um, have a couple things that I am expecting to happen here. One, of course, I'm hoping Balin actually finds what he's looking for. Or at least tells us what he's looking for if he doesn't find it. I'm also really hoping that Ezra and the team make it back to the other galaxy. It seems like this show is not coming to a conclusion. At least that's my thought anyway, considering it's already seven episodes into an eight-part series and we're nowhere near what seems like a conclusion. But I'm hoping that Ezra and the team actually make it back in this series. And that, I don't know, maybe he actually makes it to Lothal and back to his apartment in that tower there. I think that'd be pretty neat. I think the Loth Cat's probably pretty lonely by now. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see how it goes. Let's roll it. Haven't left yet, of course. Love that they included Thrawn's Star Destroyer and it still has that painting on the bottom of it. I think that's so neat. The cargo transfer is complete. Good. Very good indeed. Bring the eye of Still thinking these are a bunch of dead stormtroopers here. Or a bunch of dead Thomas people of some sort, anyway. On the Jedi location. I thought he was going to leave him alone. Little the Jedi can do to stop us now. Yeah, you I've think. I've watched many an Imperial officer make the same assumptions. Yeah, even he even made I a mistake. Him to the heroics of a single Jedi. You did. Never again. We are grateful to you, Grand Admiral. And are they going with? Are they going to make her some sort of a great mother here? You shall be rewarded. <laughs> I don't the know if that's good or not. Of shadows. Gift of shadows. Prepared. I'm assuming she'll just become like one of them. Oh, wow. I wish they would have showed a little more of the... Dathomir magic at some point in this show. Complained that it looked like a green lighter at one point when it first showed up. This looks a little more akin to their magic from Rebels anyway. Oh, it actually gave her tattoos. Oh, and it changed her eye color. Interesting. She is more like them. Yeah, see, now that looks cool. Oh, this is like when Mother Talzin uh, made a sword, right? I almost saw like a sword hilt right there. The blade. Oh, Talzin. This looks like a katana almost. That is awesome. Yeah, that looks like a katana. That is awesome. Couple of TIE Fighters off to uh, get the, the Rebels, huh? The Jedi, the Witch, and the Warlord. Interesting. You'd have figured that uh, Ezra and the team would have uh, left this group already. Hmm. Oh wait, I thought you didn't want a lightsaber anymore. It looks like he's making a whole new one. No, that's not gonna work. Look. Not going to work? What are you talking about? Yeah, the I think he... is too narrow. Now look here, I think I Huang think knows how to build a lightsaber. <laughs> lightsabers longer than you've been alive. I think Ezra knows what he's doing too though. We don't have time for lessons right now. Who told you how to build a lightsaber anyway? Kanan Jarrus. Mm-hmm. Is that so? Yeah. That is so. He was my master. I would have thought Huang would have known that. I know. And I taught him the relationship between a master and an apprentice is as challenging as it is meaningful. There you go. That's it. I had two of those. Kanan took the one, the other I held onto in case he ever needed it. I was gonna say I recognize that part there. It looks like Kanan's lightsaber. What color is it gonna be? Nice. Well done. Blue one. Looks like you were a good student. Hmm. You must be pleased. 
about? More relieved. Your gamble paid off. Be pleased when you actually make it home, right? So you know. But I think uh, Ahsoka's had a change of heart since then too, right? So maybe accepting of that? It had to happen. Never thought I'd see him again. You might not mm -hmm. have. I've made my share of difficult choices. Unconventional. Often no one understood my reasons. Except my master. Anakin. Mm -hmm. He always stood by me. He did, even after you left. No matter what happens next, I'm going to be there for you. That should give um, Sabine a little more conviction yeah. in herself, too, I would hope. Have you kept up with your training? <laughs> Doubt it. I, I tried. Getting pretty good with the lightsaber, though. <laughs> Hmm. Where's the coffee I cup? I have gained better control over my lightsaber. Oh, that's true. I'll tell you a secret. Being a Jedi isn't about wielding a lightsaber. <laughs> it helps. Uh, makes you look like a Jedi, yeah. Ooh, those uh, folks on the ground are going to be in a bad spot. We lost the stabilizer. Yeah, I just landed before you crash on those people. Oh, okay. Just get out of there. Go, go. Yeah, keep going. Oh, nice. <laughs> like it. Wow. <laughs> oh no. A successful strike on the Jedi shuttle was reported before we lost contact with the flight group. An acceptable outcome. Because you know, yeah, the only lost two lost. soldiers. Mark their captain for a citation. Oh, she looks uh, creepy. The, they were made the other three there are probably so old they're were? dead, right? And that's why their skin's All so pale. All to make the sacrifice for you. It is for the Empire. Uh, they sacrifice for you. Galaxy. Hmm. But Thrawn found this place. He woke up the witches, rebuilt his starship. It wasn't safe to come here alone. Well, you're not oh, alone interesting. Anymore. So, they did um, suffer casualties when they arrived, it sounds like. And, and it sounds like damaged their Star Destroyer. Oh, she does have her helmet still. There'd be no negotiating with the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker. No, don't think so. What are they uh, running for anyway? And now you got a couple of Jedi coming for you, Ron. I won't say two or three, I'm not sure which. Got the door open, whatever it was. <laughs> Dispatch to the night troopers. Just vexed. Night trooper time. Inform the great mothers. Yeah, there you go. That's teamwork. Maybe give Ezra a second saber too, while you're at it. Ezra looks like he's as good as he ever was. Nice. Good work. Oh, just reanimating them all after they got torn, cut down, huh? <laughs> Creepy. Somebody's gonna have to get up there and interrupt the Great Mothers, I guess. I mean, in their reanimated form, yeah, they should be almost invincible, right? I thought they were reanimated before, but... Yeah, they're all zombies now, right? Have to cut their legs off or something. Oh, okay, there you go. Feely, uh, you still have a way out, I hope. Nice moves. She's been training. Hmm. What's your excuse? I missed you. 
we require a little more time. Oh yeah, you're staying behind, Morgan. I don't think she likes it, but I guess she's gonna do it. And you'll live in exile to the rest of your days. one here yeah she's gotten an upgrade oh, ahsoka <laughs> nice stay together, remember? that's you what huang said on. now go mm-hmm yeah that sword is awesome a lot better than the last time they fought that first time they fought I thought was kind of slow. This one seems much more uh, natural I guess. Nice. Can't be just these two. I'm assuming they're zombies as well though. Yeah. <laughs> I think you might need to cut their legs off. Better go. Nice. Yeah, Ahsoka's gonna get trapped here too, but well, I guess if Wayne gets the ship fixed, there's always some way. Oh wow, his face, is that a skull under there? Is that what that was? Let's see some of that Kung Fu there, Ezra. Well, I guess he's got it too, huh? Oh, yeah, he is a zombie underneath that helmet. Come on, you can do that. It's about time. Yep. Uh, not quite. You remember getting pushed by a mall? Maybe Sabine can actually push you across the gap. I don't know if I'd trust it though. You can't make that jump. Not by yourself. I appreciate the confidence. No, I push you first and you pull me across. <laughs> Ezra. Yeah, just like when Maul and you did this, right? Can you, Sabine? <laughs> That'd be a little hard to trust. Ezra! You push me and then I pull you. Okay, let's Ready? see it. Wow. I believe in you. <laughs> Come on, Sabine. Come on. Uh huh. That's how you do it. Nope, you're on your own. She's got to go help her master. Ooh, wow. Good move. Oh, what great choreography. That is awesome. You will die here. Hmm. Alone. Someone will. Not alone. <laughs> Good for you. I love the pistol saber combo. Every Jedi should use that. Now, if only she had her jetpack, right? Oh! Oh, we're keeping that sword, too. We're keeping that. Seven five seven here. Got <laughs> Reminds me of the first episode of Rebels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe put that uniform on as disgusting as that would be. Where's Ezra? He's going home. Yeah, he's going home. Wanna get out of here? I'm right behind yeah. you. Controls. Oh, he's getting frustrated. Have the main batteries targeted the fortress for bombardment. Affirmative, Grand Admiral. 
just gonna topple the whole tower, huh? Where's the ship? Wow. We're in. We are tracking the Jedi shuttle. It is closing. Open the channel, please. You're gonna talk to her. Please don't attack us. Hmm. Allow me to commend you on your efforts today. You've been quite a worthy opponent. I know you. Because I knew your master. <laughs> I concluded your strategies yeah. would be similar. One wonders just how similar you might become. Well, let's let uh, Huang follow Jedi protocol here. Let's see what happens. Where a Ronin such as you belongs. A Ronin? Long live the Empire. No. No. Well, Ezra made it home. They're not going back down here, are they? I guess where else would you go at this point, right? Hmm. They're happy. And Sabine went back for her master, right? I mean... She had to make that choice, I think. Oh, is that your uh, Morai? I think you better follow it. Oh, and here's Shin. Forgot about her, too, so she's left behind. Were you giving yourself up? Oh, she's joining this band of uh, rebels here. Or, you know, bandits, I guess. That was the uh, Mortis father there. And the son. No daughter, though. But it's just a statue. What are we, uh, what are we looking for? Approaching Dathomir. We're in Admiral. Well, we're going to Dathomir for some reason. And what's here? Other than the Great Mothers, I guess, um, being able to reanimate each of these dead things from the catacomb. Well, that's a lot. <laughs> Pretty sizable force at the all of them are reanimated, right? This can't be Ezra. I'm assuming it is, though. He stole an Imperial shuttle. Can take the helmet off now. I'm sure it stinks. <laughs> Chopper recognizes him. <laughs> uh-huh. Not the happy ending I was hoping for. <laughs> well, Starman. <laughs> Where are the others, though? <laughs> now, the more I flew off into the distance, it, I, I assumed Ahsoka was going to be following. But... Who knows where the thing was flying off to? I guess I just assumed it would uh, take her we're to Balin or something. Ezra got home. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I hope. Kind of a hollow win, though. He did. He did. Hmm. Ezra's where he needs to be, and so are we. I mean, the fact that there were only two statues of the three Mortis gods, and, and she died essentially to preserve Ahsoka's life. Huh. Shadows. Ahsoka saw it. <laughs> yeah. That was an amazing episode, but it did not end anywhere near what I thought it was going to end like. I mean, so... <laughs> Ahsoka and Sabine are stuck on this planet now, with Ezra having made it back. I'm assuming that they're going to be able to mimic the technology to some degree that um, the Empire used there. I mean, those 
hyperdrive engines were built at their shipyards, so there must be some design left over that I guess the Re Republic can go mimic and go put into use for themselves to go get those two, if there's a desire amongst the Republic, I suppose, to go do that. Um, Ahsoka said they were in the place they needed to be, and with Balin and Shin both still on that other planet, and Balin obviously having some plan that I'm assuming has to do with the Mortis gods, um, I've heard the name Abeloth before, if that's the way it's pronounced, and maybe that is the case uh, that they're going, or Balin's looking for, um, that person who was essentially imprisoned uh, after they sought their own immortality after having created the Mortis gods. I'm not really solid on that storyline myself, but um, have heard others talk about it. And it seems a very plausible explanation, especially now given having seen the end of this episode here. But really had hoped to see more of Balin in this. And uh, with Shin just barely making a appearance at the end there too, I don't know if that's the end of her character She's like king of the bandits now, but um, we still have four of our main characters on this planet and uh, millions and billions of, of light years away, I guess. So hopefully Ezra can go get them. But what an amazing series. I really hope for a season two, but it sounds like that might actually just extend into some other show like a Mandalorian or something else. We'll see, but really good. Uh, congratulations to all the people that made the show, but... Please give a like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.